Last year, artificial intelligence, AI, swept the globe by storm. Currently, 35% of multinational corporations use AI in the workplace, and more than 70% of those same firms are looking into ways to further use AI in their operations. Furthermore, a forecast places the value of the worldwide AI market at over $2.8 trillion in 2032, translating into a compound annual growth rate of 19% annually. To put that into perspective, you would have more than a quarter of a million dollars if you invested $10,000 today and an additional $10,000 annually for eight years at a 19% key AGR. These are great times to benefit from the AI revolution as an investor. Thus, in the first part of this year, I'll be reviewing the top seven AI stocks to buy. I say the first half because I have a good feeling that throughout the year, the AI landscape will change significantly. In addition, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to see educational videos. Now that we've covered everything, let's move on to the top seven AI startups that currently have my interest. Please be aware that there is a big list of AI firms available. I've just highlighted the ones that I believe have the most promise going forward or make the most sense right now. And in upcoming films, I'll do my best to cover a lot of these additional businesses. I'm currently looking at three primary areas of focus for progress within the field of artificial intelligence and for the core of those massive language models or AI chatbots that would be web hosting, hardware, and software. The first business under scrutiny is CrowdStrike, a cybersecurity firm that offers services for cyber attack response, threat intelligence, endpoint security, and cloud protection. Their Falcon platform provides danger detection and deterrent. Additionally, it will be simpler for those cyber criminals to obtain additional tools and resources as AI tools become more widely accessible. I believe that the necessity and demand for businesses like CrowdStrike will only increase in the future. And I genuinely think they have a very long growth runway ahead of them. The stock has increased by more than 137% in the last year but it's increased 45% in the last three years. Furthermore, it hasn't even reached its peak price of $327.39, which was reached in February 2024. We can therefore conclude that there is some benefit there. It's important to note that despite having over $3.4 billion in revenue, their margin is only 2.92%. They are about to turn a healthy profit, and they are only 13 years old. And when they do, I have no doubt that the stock will surge. It also has a lot of potential ahead of it, considering that its revenue growth has almost doubled over the last three years. I mentioned this company a few times in the previous year, and from a long-term fit perspective, it really benefited my portfolio. The next business belongs in every investor's portfolio, and NVIDIA is that. Although they are well known for their graphics cards, their GPUs for AI servers are actually what make them the most desirable product on the market. They are thought to possess 90% of all AI GPUs because they are so popular. However, analysts continue to predict that they have a lot more development ahead of them despite their recent growth. They also have a good chance of staying at the top of AI for a while because there aren't many companies in the hardware sector with such supremacy. It is difficult to comprehend that their growth was 277% over three years, and it was 228% last year. Furthermore, at 64, their PDE ratio is really large. However, given the current rate of AI advancement, I doubt anyone is aware of the real ceiling. Despite my significant investment in NVIDIA last year, I'm still planning to use cost value averaging to make a sizable long-term investment this year. Cerebris, a rival company to NVIDIA in the AI hardware market, is now pending the industry because Cerebris is building Condor Galaxy, the largest AI supercomputer, using its patented wafer scale engine, which consists of 27 million computer cores and 41 terabytes of memory built from a single huge wafer. This company is leading the way in AI hardware, but regrettably, they aren't traded on any stock exchanges using an investment firm is. From there, it may produce automated outcomes almost instantly and at a reasonable cost. I frequently provide personal consultations to larger businesses. 
Furthermore, because businesses are always seeking for methods to save expenses and gain a competitive edge, robotic process automation is very popular at the moment. The company's one-year return was excellent, but its three-year return of minus 69% is appalling. Its negative margin of operation is also evident when examining the PDE ratio. At its April 2021 IPO, the stock had a peak price of $84 and is currently trading at roughly $23. It has reached almost the lowest points. Additionally, the stock price of this company rises quickly once earnings start to come in. This is one of the long-term investments I have in my hat. I don't go all in, but I do continue to buy it if the stock has a slight decline. Lastly, I'll give you a list of my top picks for these firms to invest in at the end of the video. I'll go on to discuss Arista Networks, a company that creates, produces, and markets hardware and software solutions for cloud computing and data centers. In essence, they design the particular tools needed to control and direct network and cloud computing connectivity. Arista Networks will see rapid growth as more businesses expand their use of or rely on AI cloud computing solutions. In terms of performance, they have fantastic 133% growth the previous year, and they had another excellent three years. However, because of their low beta and PDE ratios, they are practically values in the expanding AI market. In the group, this is kind of my Cinderella story that nobody really talks about. They were a great performer in the short run when I pounced on the stock last year, which I happen to talk about quite a bit. The next business is Amazon which has many advantages in the healthcare industry, ad income, AWS, and big language models that businesses can use to train their own artificial intelligence. This is where computers will be needed for many years to come as a result of using Amazon's AWS for cloud-based AI models. At the moment, AWS contributes roughly 13% of Amazon's total revenue, while 74% of its operating income comes from it. Additionally, the retail sector's ad revenue increased by more than 26% in 2023. Additionally, I predict that Amazon's ad revenue will increase significantly this year as a result of their decision to start running advertising on their Prime programming. Performance-wise, the one-year returns are respectable at 76%, but the three-year returns are only at 13%. Furthermore, given that the stock is almost at its peak of $185, I think the following two years will be very successful because of the margins increase. Remember that they eliminated almost all of their physical store formats and suffered enormous layoffs last year. They eliminated all unnecessary expenses in the previous year and redirected their assets towards 2024. Please use the like button to support my channel before continuing if you enjoy my material. Even better, it would be wonderful if you gave subscription some thought. I'll next go on to discuss Palantir, a business that offers the most sophisticated AI operating systems to address high-stakes real-world issues, where users can interact and analyze complicated information on the fly with their Foundry platform, which is a safe and scalable data fusion and analysis platform that can handle both organized and unstructured data. They provide the most intricate and all-encompassing AI system I've ever seen. And any business that makes the most of its Foundry platform will gain a significant competitive edge. Their platform truly impresses me, and I have worked on some quite intricate AI pricing models that I'm sure most of you use on a daily basis. I promise you that Palantir has excellent AI systems. Palantir's performance was up 198% in the previous year, but over the previous three years, it has only produced a 2% return. They have the greatest beta and PE ratio of all the companies on the list right now, but they will be a significant role in the long run with AI. They were recently downgraded by a number of analysts, but that's great since it gave the rest of us a fantastic buying opportunity. And while I'm not going to throw everything at this firm, I do continue to invest in it on a regular basis because I believe that in the long run, no other business can truly provide the same level of AI solutions that they provide. I'll follow up with Microsoft after that. And while it may seem strange to single out some of these massive companies as being at the top of the AI growth chart, the truth is that many of them are building the infrastructure and tools necessary for other businesses to use their AI resources. 
Furthermore, Microsoft's Copilot, which was only introduced a few months ago, is only available to larger businesses at a monthly cost of $30 per worker. And while that might seem like a lot, Copilot can easily add several hours of productivity per person per week if it can assist with document writing, PowerPoint design from a set of bullet points, Excel document analysis at the touch of a button, and team meeting note summaries with calls to action and follow-ups. Additionally, a few users of the AI Copilot that I've spoken to have compared it to taking drugs. They can't image living without it now that they're using it. According to one source, Microsoft expects Copilot to be adopted by 20% of users by 2026, generating $10 billion in revenue annually. So what happens if that figure rises to 30 or 40%? I find it amazing that Microsoft was able to totally revamp their business strategy and integrate AI into their office suite of products in less than a year. I would be interested in knowing how that all transpired, so much so that they should publish a case study about it. Regarding performance, they have increased by 49% in a single year and 71% over the course of three years. Furthermore, Microsoft is currently a value option when you consider its low beta, low PE ratio, and dividend. As previously stated, I will display on the screen the various firms and the order in which I have prioritized them for my investments. 1. NVIDIA 2. Microsoft 3. Amazon 4. Palantir 5. CrowdStrike 6. Vipath 7. Arista Network. In wrapping up our discussion on the top AI stocks for 2024, it's evident that the future is right with opportunities in this dynamic sector. Whether you're a seasoned investor or just dipping your toes into the stock market, these companies offer exciting potential for growth and innovation. Remember to conduct your own research and consult with financial professionals before making any investment decisions. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with others who might benefit from this valuable information. Together, Let's stay ahead of the curve and harness the power of AI to shape a brighter tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy investing!